As we approach the winter solstice and the darkest time of the year, our gardens also feel that chill. Many of us may be headed inside for a good time, but there is still reason to be in the garden. Here is your December gardening checklist. These cold, dark evenings are a great time to clean and sharpen your gardening tools after a summer of hard work. Give each tool a good scrub and remove any dirt or debris. Use a whetstone to sharpen blades and give any moving parts a good oiling. Wooden handles that have grown a bit rough can be sanded down and treated with boiled linseed oil too. With a little care, good gardening tools should last many, many years. The days for starting seeds are closer than you may think, and these chilly days are great for dreaming and planning for next year's garden. Consider mapping out your available space on a piece of paper or in a gardening journal. Using a diagram can help you plant more vegetables and flowers in a smaller space. Don't be afraid to try something new or unusual too. Placing your seed orders early means the varieties you want will be available and you'll have everything on hand when the time comes to start planting. If your flowers have gone to seed, leave the seed heads over the winter. They provide food for birds and other animals during the cold months of scarcity. And come spring, many of those seeds may germinate, providing your garden with spring plants. The architectural forms of those seed heads provide winter interest for those of us in colder climates. If you are using garlands or wreaths made from real pine and fir greens, be sure to give them a good soak before hanging them up. Fill a large container or even a bathtub with warm water and submerge the greens in the water for at least four hours. Overnight is even better. Then let them drip dry a bit before hanging them. Your greens will last longer and their fragrance will be refreshed after a good soak. If you choose a live Christmas tree, there are several ways to dispose of it so that it benefits the environment. The key thing is to keep it out of the landfill. If your city offers composting service, take advantage. That's a great way for the nutrients in the tree to be returned to the earth. You could also use your tree as the beginning of a log and branch pile for the wildlife in your yard and neighborhood. Cut the tree into smaller pieces and trim off the branches. Pile the logs from the trunk and large branches together. Watch for visiting wildlife who might move in rather quickly in the cold. You can use the smaller branches and needles as mulch too. Contrary to the old wives' tale, they will not make your soil too acidic and will add both nutrients and insulation. As one year comes to an end and another begins, one lovely way to mark the change of the calendar is to sprinkle some seeds under the stars. Choose a flower mix or a packet of native seeds for your area and make a ritual of casting them over the earth. Come spring, you may be surprised to see what flourishes and remember, these longest nights make way for the beauty of spring. And that is your gardening checklist for December. Happy gardening and happy holidays.